actually think future generations may judge us very harshly indeed. Well, of course. I mean, the, the progressives <clears throat> of tomorrow are going to hate the progressives of today. That's the now, point. Now, that's an interesting insight. Well, but, but that's the point. The progressives of tomorrow, I mean, just really, we can, we can do a very simple version of this, would be that Barack Obama, who was once a progressive hero, in many ways is actually irrelevant to the left right now. He's been speaking out against wokeism lately, against identity politics, and they're pretty much ignoring him. Now, Barack Obama ran against gay marriage the first time that he was running for president. He was against gay marriage. He was for traditional marriage. Now, that sounds like some sort of evil, scary conservative yeah. belief. So the progressives of tomorrow that want to take down the statues and the monuments that we have of our forefathers, yes. Barack Obama's library is being built, uh, I think, right now in Chicago. What do you think a progressive of 2030, of 2040, is going to say? They're going to say, wait a minute. We have a library in Chicago of a man who ran against gay marriage. Yeah. And that sort of erasure of history is incredibly, incredible. it's disingenuous, yeah. Yeah. but it's incredibly dangerous because the idea that we all right now have become so enlightened that we can do everything, accomplish everything that the people before us couldn't. 